No, we don't have to control it Put it all out in the open If it's only for a moment It's a lifetime of emotion Put it all out in the open What a nice evening With all the horses this little nameplate here is one I've had since Milo was like three. Hi hey boys! I suppose a quick update on Pogo's leg is in order. Um, so for those of you who missed the video about it, Pogo impaled his leg with a stick over a month ago now and the stick went into the knee joint. So it was a pretty serious injury and it was like a deep hole. So it's starting to scab over and heal it needs to get cleaned i haven't cleaned it yet today we're no longer bandaging he just gets aloe spray on it but yeah it looks pretty good he's like go away hi boys yeah so he's doing well and he just turned three on may 15th and percy just turned four on april 21st and then banksy is turning one on may 28th yes Yes, you are. I'm excited because I found an old leather halter that fits him and it looks so cute. I'm gonna order his first nameplate. Yes. Oh my goodness, you're so cute. And you are too, Pogert. I love you too. Huh. All right. Or I'm trying to riff on Metallica's Enter Sandman. Yeah, Tan Man. Mom, look, yeah. I found a halter that fits him. Who's this that one? I don't know. It's probably in the car for it. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Okay. The internet really wants to keep my balls off, and I don't know why. I don't know why. I couldn't like them. They're smelling cute. Mm -hmm. Okay. Come on, Jane. Come on, So I always try them to climb because then if they pull back it'll break and with babies, even if they're well trained and stand well, if something scares them enough to pull back and freak out, if they're hard tied, they're going to really hurt themselves. And anyone who teaches your horse to tie and stand well by hard tying them and letting them freak out until they give up and go into the help business is a gift to their horse. But I doubt. What do you think, my man? What do you think? What do you think? adequate distance between himself and the horses which he doesn't always do so like this is all his summer coat so this is the color he'll be and then these ugly tucky patches are so <laughs> baby fluff he's gonna be very light in color very similar to his mom he needs a bath too but we're not gonna do that today are you being good Yes. Okay, so one new thing I'm going to try today is not clipping him before someone thinks that. I'm just going to plug the clippers in and run them while I groom him to get him to start getting used to the noise. I won't need to clip him for a while, but you don't like to make it a traumatic experience. And since I've had him since he was so young, there's no point in me raising a horse that needs to be sedated to be clipped. So here we go. He's very curious. He says, what is she doing? Good boy, Perrin. Good boy. I'm gonna put them right here. He doesn't care. So since he's not spooking up the noise from far away, what I could do is just get him used to having it close. And then usually what really scares them when they're getting used to it is when they feel the vibration on their skin. And we're not gonna do that because I don't want to clip them anywhere. But I could take the blades off and practice without the blades and it would serve pretty much the same purpose. But I mean, not get hurt, get clipped or get 
Look, look at that bird beak. Oh, that's a good itchy spot. Phoebe's quite curious about the clippers too. <laughs> Phoebe, what do you think of that? You're like, what is going on? Here and come. Oh, Harry. <laughs> Even those he likes having scratched. No, he's a good boy. Sorry, I like his little feet. He's doing some of his teenage growth, it looks like to me now, you know, where they get leggier and they get a little, like, rangier and build, kind of, yeah. like a little thinner. Some pretty good muscle, I would oh, yeah, but I'm meaning, like, like say, from the pot belly and the rib coverage, yeah. he's he's going through, like, the teenage leaning out a little bit. Yeah. Or that's a bit what it looks like to me, you know, when they go through different stages, right? Yeah. Would you if I just hacked off his forelock? Um, not be happy with you, perhaps. Oh, look, little man. Hi, baby. Like, I'm literally barely touching him. Oh, he just wants to say hi to me because he also likes me. Hi, my friend. Hey, my little baby. He's a good little pickle. He's doing like Milo. He's just licking my hand very sweetly and gently. Oh, look at the baby. Oh, she's so darn cute. That's Are you afraid cousin. of the goats? That's your cousin. Baby, no. Just giving a little head toss and watching. Literally can't get you. So yeah, but he is nervous of them, hey? Yeah. I'm have to get over it. Oh, cool. They grow fast, baby chickens, hey? They do, right? It's amazing. Okay, watch. Don't watch. Oh, now he's going to march because he's like, oh, the goats. Yeah. Spooky yeah, time. Whoa. Oh, oh, dear. Wow, guys. Mm hmm. Oh, good curiosity there. Yes. They're actually very nice. Oh, it's okay. Good boy. Hi, Skittles. Good boy. So cute. He's curious. Hi, guys. Hi. Skittles is like, give me a treat. I know what you're up to. <laughs> right? Good job, Skittles. You're helping me train. <laughs> Positive reinforcement. <laughs> He's all about the food. <laughs> Good boy. Is he not as scary anymore? Oh, look, what about when he climbs the fence, Banksy? <laughs> oh, you're going to touch his little nose? That's so cute that he's willing to go closer. Oh, Skittles, you're so funny. You're such a good boy. Hi, Skittles. Are you all about the food? Good job. That was awesome. That was brave. Yep. Uh-oh. Looking to stir up trouble. Aren't you? Somebody's interested. Oh yeah. She's very interested though. I know. This is mellow for her, the fact that she hasn't... Oh, well, she'll go ripping around momentarily. <laughs> That's what, yeah. They are there. That which is good because he can see them. He'll be. Yeah. <laughs> well, but at least they're not right at the fence, so yeah. he can get a look and a smell, and uh, not have to have them be overly intimidating. But. You don't see them yet. Right. He says, "I see her." Oh, yeah. She's being a sassy pants. What's that? They are. Oh, he's plopping though. Yet. Yeah, what are those? What are those? They're youngsters just like you, Banksy. Yeah, they're babies. Mm-hmm. Go take a look.
a look. Probably yearlings, too. Yeah, right? Good. And there aren't very many of them close by at all right now. Oh, there were way more in here when I came by before. Really? Yep. Okay. Stop it. Don't. Whoa. Oh my God, Mercedes. She's kicking. Good boy. It's okay, my love. Oh, she's being a stink face. He's going to turn into Gerald McBoing Boing. Oh, look at her. Sassy. Good boy, Banksy. Yeah. Are you sad? Are you? Good staying. Hi. Hi, beautifuls. Eat leaf. Yes. Here he, he's trotting the whole long side. Oh my God, he tur Oh, <laughs> just heads up, here he comes. Oh, trot. Ooh. Ooh. Why do you always have to run faster into the corner? You're not a reining horse. Right in there, I think. Oh, oh, oh. Good boy, he got a lead change. Oh. oh my God, slow down. One trot, please. Just give me a crumb of trot. That was not barely a crumb. Good boy, yeah. Yay, good boy. My, oh, look at your cute haircut. Holy crap, who did that? You're so handsome. You're so handsome. Yeah. Hi. God, he's so cute. Look at that face. Holy shit. Oh my God. Work it. Work it, working it a little less with your big belly. We're walking together like the bestest of friends. Just the two of us. And if he decides to try to climb me, I can see it. I know so many people will be asking this. I just want to address Banksy's balls because they are an item, one of, honestly, probably the eighth wonder of the world, some would say. Um, <laughs> wait, stay with me. We're talking about your balls. So, anywho, regarding his balls, he is turning one on May 28th, so he's not even a year old yet. So he's quite young. As I'm sure you'll see like in the videos of him walking past those fillies, um, he doesn't really care. He's nervous going to the back just in general because it's a new place, but his silliness or like any of his excitement isn't because of the girls being there. He doesn't care. He's still paddocked next to a mare who is a total hoe um, and he doesn't care. This is a bad spot to stand. <laughs> I was just about to say. <laughs> um, so yeah, he doesn't care, and we are gonna. We're planning on building up the fence line a little bit as a just in case. But um, just from from my experience, like a lot of the breeders that we know well and respect, they keep their colts out and intact until the fall of their yearling year. So they'd be about 18 months old for the thoroughbreds, and they've never had problems. But like obviously, if you had a colt out with fillies and they started mounting them, you'd probably, you should probably take them out. Um, so anyways, he is 
just we're keeping it intact because for me my main motivation for it is just the fact that they've done studies on dogs getting neutered before sexual maturity and when they're neutered before that they tend to grow taller because the growth plates don't close as quickly and then there's also some parts of the studies that have noted that the joints aren't typically as strong in dogs that are neutered before that and that they have more joint and ligament issues um, so they haven't done a study to that scale on horses to my knowledge but I would assume it's probably pretty similar between horses and dogs so because of that I want to keep him intact until sexual maturity because I want to give him the best chance to just develop in the way that he should and I also don't want a gigantic horse so I don't really care if he loses height because of it and then if he ends up being phenomenal well-mannered nice man passes stallion licensing and has a good show record that if he wanted to keep his nuts he could but like everyone asking me if he's gonna be at stud one day that's not something that's like asking a parent of a toddler if they're taught if their toddler's gonna go to Harvard they can't <laughs> tell you that because there's a lot that they have to do to get to that point even if the kids a genius. kind of the plan and like like I said my motivation for it has nothing to do with breeding because I didn't breed with the intention of having a breeding prospect even if it was a filly and with a filly same thing I wouldn't be planning on breeding her this young so we'll see how it goes and obviously if he ends up being a total turd and being unmanageable um, we'll deal with it but I'm of the belief that for the vast majority of stallions their problems come from the handling and management of them not the fact that they have balls and like same thing with mares I think the hormones don't add as many problems as people say they do people just use the hormones to excuse problems instead of dealing with them so for me, this is kind of an experiment because if he does become a total dick, then either I'm a shitty trainer or I was wrong. So we'll see. Well, people who don't know horses can be around him and handle him and he's a baby. So he'll like sometimes nibble at your clothes and stuff. But like, has he ever, has he ever bitten you? No. He's never bitten no. me. Yeah, he's never even like bitten me or anything. He's the most he's done is like grabbed up my sleeve. Yeah. And like, so long as he's he gentle, I don't anything. care. If, um, he's so bummed. Hi, I can hold. <laughs> That's like growing, a slide. I'm telling you, he's growing. It's a slide. It's a hard question to answer because people ask me like, honestly, probably at least five times a week. I think um, it's a it's a it's an interesting thing. It's a point of curiosity for an awful lot of people, right? Yeah. Do you think that maybe um, like let's say if he were exactly what he looks like um, in terms of build and everything, but he were just a bay with absolutely no chrome, do you think people would have asked less oh, frequently? No, definitely, for sure. Right? Yeah, I, I think, think it's just I think it's just because cool. he's unusual. And like his markings his are markings. great, but I don't think his markings are a reason for him to reproduce. No. And the problem with colts and like stallions in general is that unlike mares they can have like a hundred foals or more a year depending on how often they're breeder to them so if they're not good quality and they're not going to produce nice babies it adds a lot okay. more problems into the breeding industry than what a crappy mare would so that's also why i don't want to commit to anything because like that if we did decide to do stallion testing with him which we're not planning on doing at this point he'd have to do a full vet check they'd have to x-ray all his joints all his feet he'd have to be problem free for genetics he'd have to pass the, the free jumping portion of the two-year-old test and then he'd later have to go back to a performance test as a four between four ages four and six he'd have to do dressage cross country show jumping and he'd have to get high enough marks to get a permanent breeding license holy doodle it's actually yes. very rigorous hey so like that's what he'd have to do to get approved just with the oldenburg registry as it stands like he's a nice enough horse that i don't think like we need to rush doing it because he's not a problem like if he was being a pain in the ass then it would make sense but so yeah there's a lot of big ifs so like that's why some of these questions i don't either don't always answer them because they're asked so frequently that people can find the answer elsewhere or they just get short answers like i don't know because that's honestly the legitimate answer and then i guess the other thing to address quickly about him that a lot of people are confused about is um, they're confused at why I say he's an Oldenburg when he's half thoroughbred and the reason for that is thoroughbreds created your warm bloods you're welcome they say um, <laughs> so he's he's registered as an Oldenburg because that's the registry he got approved with his sire was an Oldenburg but I could have registered him with a lot of different registries warm bloods are not purest breeds like thoroughbreds or Arabians they have a whole lot of different mixing and then whatever the baby gets approved with and registered with is what breed they are so the breeds don't really have the same meaning as it would for a thoroughbred because if a horse is a thoroughbred they're a thoroughbred all the way back to the darley arabian so it, it's it's definitely different i don't know i think thoroughbreds 
are super important in breeding sport horses and that the reason why people like them less is because Wormlets have become a fad and then a lot of the thoroughbreds bred now are specifically for racing so they don't breed them with the confirmation in mind for a sport horse always. So it can be hit or miss because they can breed poorly conformed fast horses to try to create a fast horse. And then those horses don't make good sport horses because they have conformational issues. But then there are some absolutely stunning thoroughbreds that when you get them muscled up for like dressage and stuff, literally no one can tell that they're thoroughbreds when they see them. But anyways, that's my rant for today. and. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys enjoyed my bro Chel Chelmoff Pelita. I don't know how to say it. Also regarding the hack, like obviously I have my account back because I filmed and posted this. And the other thing is the guy whose name was on my channel, he's just some regular person that has nothing to do with the hacks. They just put his name on the channel. Yeah, I definitely could just leave Have him eat his dinner here? Yeah. yeah. That's fine. He says I'm a good kid. One quick note about the hacks. The name that my channel was is just some normal dude that had nothing to do with the hacks. He was not the one who hacked it. Um, a lot of people assumed it was him and they went on his Twitter account and were like, why'd you hack people's account? Because they've used that name for a lot of hack channels. It has nothing to do with that guy. They also used Joe Rogan's name initially for my channel. So like, that's just what the hacker used. I don't think most hackers would actually put their real identity, especially so soon after the account was hacked. So just so everyone knows, it has nothing to do with him. He did not hack my account. Don't be mean to him. He's just living his best life, doing his thing. Um, and has nothing to do with the hacks. And thank you to everyone who tagged YouTube on my post and tagged Google and supported me and said nice things and just helped me out. It was really crappy. This week has sucked. Um, like a bunch of bad things have happened. Like my wallet getting stolen. Like yesterday I was at my wits end. When I noticed my wallet was gone, I like lost it. Um, so now it's better because I got the account back sooner than what I would have expected and then my wallet also turned up because someone found it. Um, so I got my ID back which was good. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this little update. I am going to be trying to do some new things on my channel and start doing more requested videos as I have more time and as the weather gets better. And I also still am keeping that backup channel if anyone wants to follow it and I'll post like extra stuff on there as it comes. And so there will be more stuff on there. So thank you again for all your support. I really appreciate it. And um, you guys made it a lot better of a process than it would have been without your help. And then I guess the other thing that I could say quickly is I'm revamping my entire merch store. There's going to be a lot more products available. The store is cleaner and it's now on my website. So if you want to check that out, the link is down in my bio. Not all of the products I'm adding are added yet. That will take some time. So I'll also link my Teespring store down below if you want like the full range of options that I have currently. And then you can check that out. Thank you for watching and thank you for your support, guys. I really appreciate it.